First of all, can I say a big massive thank you? Because you are the comedic genius behind some of my favorite movies. So Anchorman, The Other Guys, Step Brothers, thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm glad you like those movies. And now with this movie, The Big Short, it's obviously a very serious matter and you're coming from a comedy background. Were you a bit apprehensive on, about showing such a story in a comedic way? Well, you know, it, it, the trick with it was it's a true life story. I mean, you know, these are real people. This actually happened. So what I like about that is that, the, you know, real life doesn't really adhere to a genre. So in the real telling of these guys' stories, there are moments that are funny. There are moments that are tragic. There's moments that are dramatic. Um, so that was really exciting about this movie, that I didn't feel like it really fit into one genre. Congratulations on, obviously, the Golden Globe nominations and now the Oscar nominations. Thank you very much. Obviously, I think you should definitely win, but if you weren't to win, which of the other directors would you like seeing taking home the award? Ah, oh, that is a really good question. They're all so good. Oh, my God. You're making me pick one? <laughs> you know, I gotta say, I like your countrymen. Oh, yeah. I like Lenny a lot. Yeah. Um, and that's a bold movie. Um, I wish the guy who did Creed, Ryan Coogler, I wish he had been in there. Mm -hmm. um, also, I, I worship Ridley Scott, but he didn't get nominated, <laughs> right? He's Hi. one of my favorites of all time. So I don't know, they're all, they're all so good and they're all amazing stories. I mean, one of the funny things about awards is that you're pitting movies against movies and they're all so different. But uh, just to honor uh, Ireland, I will say, I hope Lenny, the director of uh, The Room, <laughs> wins. Good answer. Yeah. And can I just ask you, what's the story with yourself and uh, Christian Bale locking lips a number of times? Uh, you know, I think it's, we live in a modern world <laughs> and two men had very strong feelings towards each other at a moment of victory. And we decided to express it in a physical sense. Um, I'm comfortable with it, he's comfortable with it. The next day I sent him a dozen roses. Uh, <laughs> very <we're> romantic. Both... <laughs> no, we were just sitting there, we were joking around, and I said, if you win, Christian, kiss your wife first, then you should kiss me and Charles. <laughs> and I forgot I was saying that to a method actor, so yeah. he didn't just do a silly kiss, he actually did a real kiss, so we were laughing really hard about that. And you've worked with Steve Carell before on Anchorman. He's known for ad-libbing. Did he do that at all in this movie? Yeah, I always like a little bit of improv. Um, I didn't do as much with this movie, but uh, everyone knew they had the freedom to change lines or mess with things. Uh, what's great is you get, you get accidents out of it, you get mistakes, so it became more of a spice in this movie, whereas when we do something like Step Brothers, we're improvising a lot. Um, but yeah, certainly, Steve had moments of improv. Brad Pitt was quite good at the improv, too. He had some really good stuff he came up with, Gosling, all of them since they're such good actors, were very comfortable once they were in character with improv. Can I just talk about Will Ferrell for a few minutes? I know of obviously course. you have Funny and Die and you have all the Anchorman series. I spoke to him recently and he told me that he might be in talks to work with um, John C. Riley on another movie. Is there maybe a Step Brothers 2? We're not talking about Step Brothers 2, but we are talking about a movie with John C. Riley, possibly about immigration, sort of a silly comedy about two guys that go to protect the American border. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. We're still kind of kicking it around, but I, I would love nothing more than to work with those two guys again. Okay, we'll watch the space. Yes. Okay, well, best luck at the Oscars. Thank you so much. Pleasure talking with you. You too.